dear viewers i hope you are all fine this ultrasound video shows an inflamed appendix with sealed perforation and enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes you can see the area of scanning is the right iliac fossa and first you have to focus the ascending colon but incidentally the enlarged lymph nodes are visible this is the ascending colon inflamed appendix will be seen later on in this video you can see the multiple lymph nodes enlarged lymph nodes in the right iliac fossa now these are the prominent and enlarged lymph nodes in the right iliac fossa now these are the lymph nodes a hole or tear develops in the dead wall the high pressure pushes the bacteria and pus into the abdominal cavity so a ruptured appendix usually oozes or leaks into the abdomen rather than bursting like a balloon patient will often develop the symptoms like abdominal pain mostly around the belly button towards the lower right side of side that doesn't go away or get worsen a fever and a nausea and vomiting but symptoms definitely get worsen if appendix actually burst if appendix goes untreated it can rupture if it this happens bacteria are released into the abdomen and cause a serious infection this can make the patient very sick and may be hard to treat appendix is a small thin worm like sac located where small and large intestine connect in the lower abdomen on the right side near the cecum it is often thought that it doesn't have any important function and can be removed without causing adverse effects appendicitis can happen at any age but it occurs most often in children and teenagers between the ages of 10 to 20 years it is more common in males now you are going to see the area around the cecum cecum is visible a study in the journal of american college of surgeons found that the risk of rupture was less than 2% when appendicitis was treated within 36 hours of the start of symptoms is it increased to 5% when it was treated 36 hours or more after the start of the symptoms again you can see multiple enlarged lymph nodes multiple prominent lymph nodes now the exact cause of rupture of the appendix is unknown for sure but it is thought it is probably due to an infection that triggers inflammation inside appendix now you can see the cecum and when you sweep the probe around this area you can see now the appendix now you can see the vertical view of the appendix
Clinical symptoms of appendicitis include fever, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain that may start in the upper and middle abdomen but usually settles in the lower, lower abdomen on the right side. Abdominal pain that increases with walking, stand, standing, jumping, coughing or sneezing, decreased appetite, constipation or diarrhea, inability to pass gas, bloated or swollen abdomen, Abdomen, abdominal tenderness when you push on it that may worsen when you quickly stop pressing on it. Now you can see the appendix and a significant amount of inflammatory fluid is seen in the adjacent area. I will show you the breach in the appendicular wall from where the fluid had oozes out. Now you can see the inflammatory fluid around the, this is free fluid seen around the appendicular area. And due to the rupture or leak, leaking of the appendix, the fluid is seen. Now the reason of the perforation, perforations are second most common complication of Peptic ulcer diseases and other diseases, but in appendix, the chances of ruptures are seen if it is not timely treated. You can see the inflamed appendix, but the appendix is compressed as the fluid had leaked out of the body of the appendix. Now the symptoms of perforated appendix may include sudden severe pain in the belly, pain spreading onto the back or shoulder, upset stomach, nausea or vomiting, lack of appetite and swollen belly. Now again you can see the fluid around the appendicular area. Bout perforation is an acute surgical emergency where there is release of gastric or intestinal contents into the peritoneal space. We define sealed or perforation as a colon perforation or appendicular perforation with localized abscess identified on operation, computerized tomography or pathological findings with no evidence of free perforation including fecal contamination and dirty fluid collection in the peritoneal cavity. Now sealed perforation is due to the leaked appendix in this case. Perforation of the small intestine or large intestine is a serious and potentially fatal complication of inflammatory bowel diseases and in this case as due to the inflamed appendix. A perforated perforation is a surgical emergency and needs immediate treatment to prevent further complications such as infection. The primary symptoms of perforation are severe abdominal pain or tenderness. The abdomen may also protrude or feel hard to touch. If the hole is in a person's stomach or small intestine, the onset of pain is usually sudden. But if the hole is in the large intestine, the pain may come on gradually. Now you can see the inflamed appendix. And as the fluid has leaked out, the appendix looks to be compressed. 
Now sealed perforation is seen in this case. Now you can see the breach in the appendicular wall from where the fluid has leaked out in the adjacent area. This is the communication between the fluid and the body of the appendix through a small breach in the appendicular wall. So again you can see the breach or in the appendicular wall. So in this case you had seen the enlarged lymph nodes, inflamed appendix along with sealed perforation and the point of breach I have shown in this video. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.